G'day guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back for another episode of Space Survival. So in the last episode, I found this gold deposit here. Um, now all I gotta do is obviously just mine it. So I'm gonna mine as much as I possibly can, um, but I'm gonna do that by hand. It is a shame that I can't use the ship to do that, but yeah, like I said before, it's kind of difficult because I need a hole big enough for it to stay horizontal, because I don't think that thruster there and this one on this side is enough to hold it vertical so yeah I'm gonna have to kind of do this by hand now the other thing that I need to kind of deal with is power so when whoa, whoa almost ran into that now when I build this jump drive I'm gonna need to obviously charge it and I think it requires like 32 megawatt hours something like that so I need to make sure that I have enough power to get to Mars so that we can get some platinum. So I think it's around about 1800 kilometers. So I need enough power to jump there and then jump back to my asteroid base, which is over there somewhere. So yeah, I need to make sure that I actually have enough power to do that. So that's going to be the tricky part. So I think what I am going to do is add some more batteries. I think I might be able to squeeze an additional one maybe here somewhere yeah just there and do the exact same thing on the other side so just add a little bit more power even though I can't charge them well I can with the engines but I'm not going to so yeah that's one thing I need to watch out for but anyway let's go ahead and mine ourselves a whole bunch of gold all right, so I've pretty much mined that gold deposit for everything that it's worth, and I think I ended up with somewhere in the realm of like 85,000 units of um, yeah unrefined gold. So not too bad, although I was kind of hoping to get a little bit more, but hopefully that's enough for what we want to do. So yeah, it looks like we've got a little bit of damage here though when I'm coming in to land this thing. So yeah, you're going to have to keep an eye on that. Anyway, the plan is now to build a whole bunch of superconductors for... Well, to get this jump drive actually done. Um, but since we have gold, one thing I also went ahead and done was put some different modules on the back of these refineries. So this refinery here, um, it basically had all speed modules. So I've gone ahead and I've put two power efficiency modules and then two yield modules. And I've done that for the other one as well. So. Yeah, they only consume about 500 kilowatts of power, which is pretty good. So they're going to go ahead and refine the gold. And then I'm using the assemblers to then manufacture the superconductors to get this, this thing built. Yeah, so very good. Also, I figured out that there was actually a connection behind here that was missing. So this conveyor junction here wasn't actually there before. So that was one of the missing pieces that showed up on the... Um, on the projector that I couldn't account for. So yeah, I've gone ahead and done that. Um, there was another thing that I wanted to do, but I can't remember. Oh yeah, now it's come back to me. All right, so we don't have any iron, so that kind of sucks. Um, I wonder how far away is the nearest iron deposit because I'm sure I've seen some that, kinda, that are kind of close to the surface. Well, it looks like the closest iron deposit to us is about 488 meters underground. So yeah, I'm not digging that far. I think I'm just going to mine some stone to get the components I need to to get this jump drive done. And then we can, yeah, we can get iron from like an asteroid or something much easier than that. So not even going to bother with that. All right. So I believe also the other thing that we do need is we need some silver as well. So I'm going to have to make a mine to some silver so let's have a look at our production here yeah so i need 35 silver ingots and how much silver do i actually have yeah i've got one silver ingot so yeah gonna need to get some of that too oh yeah one more thing before i go so i did go ahead and actually build these batteries here well at least half build them so I've put those two in there, just need to kind of complete them and then we can continue on. But obviously I ran out of components or more accurately, I ran out of iron to build those components. So yeah, which brings us to 
more mining. My initial plan of flying from here to Mars, and then maybe to the alien planet, and then back to my asteroid base. Yeah, it's not really going to work out, because we need cobalt to get this thing built, and we don't have any, so... Yeah, good times. Alright, oh, actually, I just noticed that these three windows here were not built. Let's just quickly build them. Well, looks like I can't build those either, because I don't have the components for that either. Alright, yeah, so... I think at this stage, we're going to have to head back to base, grab ourselves some more cobalt, get this jump drive done, and then I can finally go off to, yeah, Mars and get myself some platinum. And I guess it's kind of a blessing in disguise because it does mean that I can go back to base and use the solar panels there to charge everything up. Um, so I, I believe I actually went ahead and added an additional two batteries as well. So I placed two batteries here too. Um, I think... All in all, this ship had like 8 batteries on it, and now it's got 12. So, I'm certainly hoping that that will kind of help the situation a little bit with this jump drive. I may even go ahead and install some more. I would like to install, I don't know, maybe like 20 batteries on this thing, because I think that's a decent amount to continually recharge this, um, yeah, this jump drive. But anyway, alright, let's head back to the planet. Well, I was ready to just to kind of leave this planet in a bit of a haste, but I, yeah, I kind of realized I didn't really actually do that much ice mining. Um, so, we have about 8% fuel on this thing at the moment, which I know will be enough to get us back to my base because I know it took way less than that to get here, but it still doesn't really fill me with a great deal of confidence knowing that we only have 8% worth of fuel. So, I think I am going to mine a bit more ice, um, get that into this ship. The only problem is, I believe, this ship only really has, if I can have a look here, yeah, four O2 H2 gens. So, we've got these two here on this side, and then obviously the mirror image on the other side. So, yeah, those, I actually might replace these basic refineries here with O2 H2 generators, because... Having four on a ship like this, with um, this much hydrogen fuel to kind of fill up, it just doesn't really work. I mean, I had my ship with, I think it's like 26 large um, thrusters or large um, hydrogen tanks, has about like 32 um, O2 H2 generators. And for this thing with about 12 tanks, you know, you're going to need at least half that. Um, and this thing only has four, which is just not enough. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe we have enough components to build them. So I'll get rid of these two basic refineries. I'll replace them with O2 H2 generators. And then I will go and mine a whole bunch of ice. All right, so I've got my four additional O2 H2 generators built. So that should hopefully speed up things a little bit. I went ahead and I actually piped them in using the new uh, kind of pipes that they added to the game one thing I would love to do to this ship at one point is go ahead and replace all of these conveyors with these pipes because I think it would just make it look a lot better if I'm not mistaken I think this ship was actually built way back in the beta days before any DLCs or anything was available and that's why a lot of the things are kind of the way that they are but anyway alright so now that we have our O2 H2 generators on uh, let's go and do some ice mining. Okay, well I've finished mining myself a whole bunch of ice. So essentially what I've done is I've basically just moved over to that point there, mined ice, come back, docked up. Went over to that point, mined some more ice, come back, docked up. And then just repeated that whole process. And I was actually able to get so much ice really really quickly so I got like 1.5 million units worth of ice and I think I managed to get that in like 10 minutes or so so let's just have a look in the inventory here now the reason why I stopped I was actually going to continue on um, but if we have a look here so 
Wow, I think I actually have a lot more than what I thought I did. So yeah, you can see I've got 1.5 million, but it looks like there's a whole bunch in connectors and bits and pieces like that. So let's move it over. So yeah, there's a lot in the O2H2 generators as well. So, wow, I think I might have actually gained about 2 million units worth of ice. And yeah, like I said, it only took me about 10 or 15 minutes. So how much fuel have we got now? 11%. Now, I'm not sure if this is going to be enough to fill the tanks, but I definitely think it's going to be enough to, um, yeah, see us through for a fair while, considering how fuel efficient this ship actually is. Now, one thing I am curious about, though, is with all this additional cargo, how much does this thing actually weigh? So it looks like it weighs 3.98 million kilos. Now, I did do some math before I constructed this ship. And with the amount of thrusters that it actually has on the bottom of it, I do believe that this thing is capable of lifting 4.2 million kilos in gravity. Which is actually pretty good. I mean, well, within Earth gravity. So that's, you know... That's 1G, and this is 0.25G, so I could carry four times the amount with the thrusters that this thing has on it in the moon's gravity, because it's only one-fourth the, um, yeah, that gravity there. So, yeah, quite interesting. I wonder what was over there. Anyway, um, so, yeah, I think we're good to go. I am going to, I've set the batteries for this thing to recharge, because it's actually flat now. So, I'm going to spin this around once it is um, a little bit charged and then we can head off back to our little asteroid base. Alright, let's um, unlock these landing gears and we should be able to ascend very easily. Now there is a bit of clang going on, I don't know what that's from. So, what I'm going to do is I'll turn my inertial dampeners off and I'll just kind of float to the point that I need to. Um, what I kind of want to do is set a GPS marker in the orbit of this planet so that when I do want to come back here, I can just jump straight to this point and then sink straight down to the planet and land where I was before. So let's get up to altitude and then set a GPS waypoint. Well, it looks like we're in a bit of a tr bit of trouble. So um, it turns out that when you get close to those SPRT mining facilities, or military escorts, then you have things chasing after you, um, which is this gunboat. So I'm going to try and get out of here as quickly as I possibly can while staying alive. Man, I would really love to know what is causing that clang. dampeners are off <laughs> oh man I'm not really doing very well here am I all right let's head over to my asteroid where is my asteroid base I think it's over there oh man I forgot to make the jump point oh well uh, kind of got sidetracked with that dude chasing after me but what can I really do? Alright, I think that over there is my asteroid. So, let's head over to that and, um, yeah, try and refine a bit of hydrogen. <coughs> Alright, well, it seems like we finally arrived at the asteroid again. Um, and it seems like we've got... A little bit more fuel than what we had before. Why is everything so quiet? Oh, there we go. Now the thrusters are giving us sound. That was bizarre. Um, actually, I want to have a look because I am kind of worried that we're burning more fuel than we're creating. No, we're going up. But I could have sworn a second ago. Oh. <laughs> I'm looking at my oxygen gauge instead of the fuel gauge for the ship. <laughs> oh man. Must have been a long day, I guess. Uh, Alright. Now the question is where to park this thing. 
I think, you know, considering I have a conveyor system running all the way down here already, then perhaps I might just place it here. I would really like to place it on the side of that solar tower, on the right hand side there. Um, but, yeah, like I said, it's probably not going to be an economic use of resources if I go ahead and build a connector on that side and a whole bunch of conveyors when I have about 500 conveyors here. Alright, cool. Let's um, just park it here for a second. I'm going to grab myself some more oxygen. Um, and then I'm going to put a connector on this conveyor system. Well, I'm just kind of having a look at the bottom of the ship and... Oh, there's the connector. <laughs> I honestly thought it didn't have one. Because I was looking for ages and I couldn't find it. So, I thought it didn't actually have one on the bottom. But I was certain that I had seen one before. Alright, let's, um... I'm going to get rid of this... Um... Inventory full. Ooh. Okay, we'll just let that drop down. So, what I want to do is probably build a little bit of a tower here. Because I'm worried that the thrusters are going to get kind of like too close. I could actually park it over here, eh? Nah, that's a little bit... I think it's just not going to work out that well if I do that. So, alright, let's make it this color. Let's put in, I think... I'm going to go for about that many, and then after that we'll place our connector down. So let's place our connector down. Weld that up, and then weld up the rest of these conveyor tubes. Right, so, conveyor tubes are done. Now let's try and park this thing up. This is going to be a little bit difficult, given the fact that I can't really see that connector very well. And the bigger the ship is, the less you can kind of zoom in when you're trying to park the thing, so... This is going to be a little bit tricky, but I'm up for the challenge, so let's try and line it up straight that way, descend down a little bit, wait did I weld that, yeah I did weld it up, let's see here, how close am I, too far forward. go this way. Well, I'd say that's pretty good. Uh, let's find our connector. I am going to name it connector-bottom. That way when you search for connector it lists them all rather than having it bottom connector and then yeah I don't know. Kind of just makes more sense to me that way. Uh, so now we're not burning any fuel. Um, yeah and that's pretty much it. So I can't remember if I actually refined all of that gold. I don't think I did. I think I turned my refineries off. Or maybe I didn't. Well, actually, it looks like I didn't turn off the um, refineries on the ship. Um, I think mainly the reason why I did that is because I actually am running the same amount of yield modules that I would usually run on most of my refineries. So usually the style that I run is um, two yield modules and two speed modules. I, I find that's a decent balance between, um, yeah, obviously yield and then obviously um, speed. So yeah, it looks like all four refineries are now working together to get this stuff done. But now that we do have gold, I think what I'm gonna do is, what do we have down here? We have a yield module, a speed module. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get rid of this power efficiency module. Inventory full. Of course it is, why wouldn't it be? Um, I'm going to get rid of one of these power modules. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to get rid of all the power modules. I'm going to put two speed modules and two yield modules on these things. Okay, so I built my superconductors. Um, I almost got the yield modules done, but <laughs> this is one of the things I've always noticed in Space Engineers. I don't know why it does this, but um, when... Okay, so... I have some assemblers over here in this ship, right? But because, like, I, I can go here and I can hit shift middle mouse button and then it will put everything into production. But because some of these assemblers over here are set to assist, they will then go ahead and assist 
one of these assemblers here on the base. Now, the catch-22 is that I cannot pull components through that connector. So if there is something sitting in a cargo container here, then I cannot withdraw it from a conveyor port here. I have to actually go to the ship to do it. So it seems like some of the superconductors were built over here, so I need to go all the way over here to grab them, which is a little bit annoying. So I think what I might do is just turn off the assemblers for this ship because don't really need to build things that fast. Um, I forget, how many assemblers were on that thing? I think it was the six. Yeah, it's quite a bit for a ship that size. Alright, and there we go. So, ooh, no, I missed the speed module here. Okay, so we've got two speed modules and two yield modules per one of these refineries. Now, if I am not mistaken, they were using about 500 kilowatts before. So let's just see what they're using now. Wow, okay, so they're using 1.68 megawatts. Um, that's not really that cool, to be honest. Um, that is a lot of power. How much power do we have in our batteries? So, I have so many batteries now. Um, I ended up putting a few more batteries on the base itself. Uh, I can't remember if I actually mentioned that or not. Um, obviously, you guys know that I put a lot more batteries into the ship. Um, so, this is very misleading. It says 100%, but they're not 100%. Um, so, we've got 12 batteries on the ship, two batteries on the little, on our little respawn pod, and then another like seven or eight batteries underneath here. So, uh, it's okay. I think we should be okay for power. So, I'm just going to let this stuff refine. And, yeah, so, I guess the only thing I need to do now is just wait for some fuel to be, um refined I guess you could say uh, and then at that point we can probably start heading back to or we can head to Mars oh yeah that's right I need to get the chump driver up and running okay so it's been a couple of days since I hit the record button last so I'm a bit um, lost uh, hey there we go so we have our first jump drive up and running which is yeah <laughs> fairly exciting um i would actually like to check how much fuel have we refined since we got back though um because i would really love to fill the tanks on this thing but so we have 13 percent fuel so we've gained what five percent from the eight percent that we had when we started and i think when i got down to the moon i had six percent so yeah a little bit more than that so it's okay-ish. It's not great, it's not bad, but given the fact that, or given how long the fuel actually lasts on this thing, it's um, probably quite a lot. So I might just stick around for a little bit longer, wait for a little bit more fuel to be refined, maybe get to about 20%. And as a matter of fact, I am actually curious, how much ice did we, or do we have left? Um, the other thing I should mention as well is that we actually gained a lot more ice than what I thought we did because every single one of these small cargo containers had 42.2k in them. So, and I believe this ship has quite a few. Like, it's got, by the looks of it, 15 small cargo containers. So, whatever 15 times 42 is, we had that as well as the 2 point whatever million we had. Um, so, but do I think that's actually going to fill this ship? Not really because it takes a lot of ice these days since they changed the hydrogen tanks to be three times bigger than what they used to be. It takes a lot of ice to actually fill them up. So let's wait till 20% and then we can make our journey to Mars. All right, so I'm back. <laughs> I actually ended up leaving the game running for like three or four hours. <laughs> I honestly forgot that it was running. So we have refined all of the ice that we collected on the moon. And if I have a look at my fuel tanks right now, we got 30%. So yeah, like I said, I knew, I kind of knew that it wasn't going to be enough to fill these tanks. Oh yeah, also I finally built the gravity generator on this thing too. So so, alright, now we're ready to head off to Mars. So, the good thing as well is that while I was waiting so long, um, the solar panels should have charged all the batteries throughout the base and throughout the ship as well. So, just need to get everything out of the cargo containers for this ship so that it's as fuel efficient as possible, and then we can make our journey. Well, I thought the batteries were all charged, at least I kind of figured that they would recharge in that time, but turns out they're not. So I've got 
all these batteries in the ship now on recharge. Um, I will put the ones on the little respawn pod onto recharge as well. So I'm going to fully deplete the base of all of its power, put it into the ship, and then after that we can finally head off to Mars. Okay, so I've managed to gain a fair, fairly decent amount of power, not heaps. Um, I think we should be able to use the jump drive pretty effectively though. So let me just see here. Um, I want to have a look at the range of the jump drive itself. So. So it looks like I've got a range of 1,427 kilometers. Um, although I am attached to this grid here, so I don't know if the weight of that grid is included. Um, so I'll just have to kind of check it out. So if that's the case, if I can only do 1,400 kilometers, then I'm probably going to need to do two jumps. And before I mentioned that the jump drive actually needed um, 32 megawatts to charge it, but no, it can input. 32 megawatts, um, but really it only needs three megawatt hours to actually, you know, fully charge. Um, now, I would like to see how much battery charge we do have left. Alright, so it looks like a lot of the batteries have about 2.16 megawatt hours, um, and then some of them are at about 900 megawatt hours. So, honestly, or kilowatt hours. Um, so honestly, I think that should be enough. I think we should be fine. So I'm going to take all of these off of recharge, put them back onto auto, and then we shall disconnect from here. Let's find the connector. Cool. There we go. And we are free. So now, um, let me check what the jump drive range is now. Oh, I can already see it down there on the hotbar. It looks like it's 1.517 or 1,517 kilometers, which is not... Ugh, darn it! We're gonna have to do two jumps! The question is, which one of these planets is actually Mars? Uh, well that kind of sucks. <laughs> I don't know what planet that is there. I can't see it. Uh, what? Oh, that might actually be Mars, but I don't want to jump 1,500 kilometers in the wrong direction. That's not cool. Alright, I'm going to figure out which planet it is and then we'll start heading to that. Well, it turns out this is actually Mars. So, let's jump towards that. So, make sure it is set to my maximum range here. So, let's just turn it up. Or is that decreasing it? Now, let's increase it to maximum range. And then we should just be able to jump. Jump drives? Oh, okay. I'm going to have to get out of Earth gravity first before I can actually jump. I think it's like 42 kilometers. So, should be pretty soon. Yep. Alright, let's jump. Uh, yes. Let's do it. So, maybe I might even just drift the rest of the way because I think we'll only be a couple of hundred kilometers short so maybe we can just drift the rest of the way while this jump drive charges well looks like I've run into one of these SPRT drone facilities which is uh I don't know I don't think it's that big of a deal because I think I can just kind of like jump out of its range like if I jump right now I could probably get far enough away from it where it would stop spawning enemies at me. Um, very similar to how it worked out at the start of the series. I think it was like episode 5 or 6 of the... Yeah, I got out of range of that drone facility and it stopped spamming drones at me. Well, not the facility, sorry. It was a, um, a ship. But anyway, I think we've got probably about 5 or 6 minutes for this thing to charge. Yeah, so 3 minutes until this thing can charge. Um, and then, once that's done, I think I am going to jump the rest of the way because I don't think we, we're going to get there in time. Or, I don't think the ship's going to drift to the planet faster than the jump drive will recharge. But the good thing is, though, that because I'm not going to be jumping the entire distance, I only really need to use a little bit of the stored power in the jump drive. I want to land kind of where I'm pointed to at the moment, so like on top of the planet, if that makes sense. I don't really want to land like down here, 
because yeah I, I kind of want the daylight so I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna reduce the range of this jump drive to like 200 I don't know like maybe 200 kilometers and try and jump to this point here and then I'll just keep reducing it until it will actually let me jump um, and then we can kind of go from there all right so I've gone down to about 232 kilometers and I still can't jump towards the planet so let's just keep reducing that until we get to a point where we can and see what happens okay so it looks like we're 95 kilometers all right now let's point the ship towards this point here and I'll try and increase it by one and because it'll be a little bit further away if that makes sense because you've got to take into account the, you know the diameter of the planet I guess or the radius um, so let's jump here and see where we end up um, not as far as I was hoping all right let me maybe do I have to wait for this thing to charge again before I can jump? Ah. Alright. Well, I think I might just use my sublight thrusters for this. Well, that actually really didn't take long at all to charge. Maybe like a couple of seconds. Um, okay, so maybe let's do a less ambitious jump here. Maybe we'll go for, I don't know, 20 kilometers. And we'll see how we go with that. So let's jump 20 kilometers. Of course I can't. What do you mean? Oh, looks like we're in the gravity. Okay, so... Wow, that's strange. Huh. Alright, so... I'm going to just keep continuing on this trajectory until we get to the light side and then we can start our descent. Alright, well, I think I've found a spot to land. So, I've reached the top of the planet, and I'm really liking this nice flat area here. So, I dare say that is going to be our landing point. Now, this time, on this planet, I need to not forget to set a GPS marker just above where I want to land. So, alright, let's power down to the planet, I guess, and then see what happens. Alright, so... We are sitting right above the gravity well, so if I create a GPS marker here, then I should be able to come back to this exact position. So let's name this, uh, I don't know, Mars Entry Point. Cool, there we go. And now all we need to do is just head down to the planet. All right, so here we are at the planet. I'm just gonna put my thrusters on here and hopefully we stop in time. I think we should have enough room. Yeah, so all right, let's... Um I think I'm just going to power down to the planet. I'm not going to turn off inertial dampers because if I fumble with my keyboard then my entire ship dies. So that's something I really don't want. Huh, look at that. There's a platinum folder over there. Nice. Alright. This isn't really the flattest ground. Let's maybe move over here to the left a bit and park on the peak of this hill a little bit closer to this platform. Uh, stop, stop, stop. A little bit too far. Alright, I think that's good enough. Let's um, descend down a little bit more and see if we can engage the landing gears. Yes, we can. All right, now let's just turn off all the thrusters. It is weird though how the, um, I must have missed this one out of the group. So, I wonder how much platinum we can actually get out of this boulder here. That would be interesting. All right, let's grab the respawn pod and mine that boulder. Well, this thing is proving to be quite difficult to fly um, because I don't have atmospheric thrusters on this thing in any sort of horizontal direction. I am kind of regretting my decision not to bring any oars or anything like that with me though because 
maybe I could have just built some because they don't really cost that much to build and I suppose I could just build them and remove them when I need them. Alright, let's uh, see what we can get out of this boulder. It's going to be a bit tricky to mine though because I'm worried that the ship, I'm going to have to try and keep it dead level to actually mine stuff so I don't know, we'll see how we go. Well, that's pretty much all I was able to get um, with the mining ship the way it is now. So I'm going to have to get the rest of it by hand um, until we find another deposit. Whoops. <laughs> I turned the whole ship off, but I probably should have left it on. So let's open that door and then turn it off again. I just can't be bothered turning off all the different thrusters. So yeah, I'm just going to turn the whole thing off. All right, let's uh, mine the rest of this by hand. Alright, well I did manage to get myself a reasonable amount of platinum, or at least I think I did. Um, I got about 14k, so we'll see how we go with that. Um, I would like to find a deposit in the ground though, so... Um, I'm going to take this back to the ship, put it back in. Um, I think I will turn on the refineries. I did also grab a whole bunch of stone, even though I don't really need to. Um, but a lot of it was the excess when I was using the ship to mine that boulder, so... Yeah, at least if I do that, then I can build some things here, but not not heaps, because I do need cobalt if I want to build like thrusters or something like that for this ship. All right, well, I've put everything into the ship now and it's all refining. We do have a little bit of resources to build some small amounts of things. Um, so yeah, I've just got a little bit of iron, a little bit of nickel, a little bit of silicon. Um, I think this, honestly, this amount of platinum should be plenty because if I look at what is required to build uh, thruster components which is I think it's one of the only things that uses platinum yeah it's only like 0 0.13 ingots per one of these um, yeah thruster components so but I just noticed you do need a lot more gold I am actually regretting leaving the moon so early I probably should have found another deposit of gold and got that as well so yeah, anyway, while we're here, let's find another deposit of platinum anyway, and mine that, because while we're here, I might as well go to the trouble and mine an entire deposit, I guess. Well, I did end up locating some more platinum, although it is in the form of a boulder, so yeah, that kind of sucks. Um, let's see if I can work my way over to it was over here somewhere. Why is my uh, ore detector being silly? Actually, I am concerned that my batteries are running very, very low. They are, so I think I'm going to mine this one by hand and then head straight back to the ship, of which I have now lost. So, yeah, good times. Alright guys, welcome back. So, I just got finished mining that boulder over there and I've actually found another one, so... Yeah, I managed to get about 20,000 out of that one over there. Oh, come on. Don't run out, don't run out, please, 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 please. Fuel oh critical. no! Do I have enough to build a steel block? Uh, yes. Alright, let's see if I can get up. <laughs> Come on, there we go, and can I get up any further? Yes, nice. Uh, I knew, I was just thinking about this before actually. I was like, oh, I've got to be careful because I'm going to run out of jetpack fuel and sure enough, I do, moments later. Alright, so I think I'm going to leave the ship here and then mine that other boulder as well and then go back to the ship because why not? Alright, so I finished mining the second boulder, so now we have about 40,000 units of platinum on board. Um, the only problem is I am really low on power and I have no clue where the ship is. So I think what I'm going to do is try and locate it with my character um, and hopefully I am successful. But first, before I do that, I'll make sure I grab a fresh bottle because... Yes, I don't want a repeat of before. Alright, so let's grab a freshie. You know what? Let's grab two just in case. And yeah, I'm just gonna head straight up and see if I can't find my my ship. I swore I put the antenna on. 
I swore I did, but yeah. Maybe I didn't, or something like that. Yeah. It's just strange, but I have no idea where it is. I think it's honestly over that way a little bit, or maybe over there somewhere. But... I don't even know if you would be able to see it from here anyway. Well, I guess I do know where my respawn pod is because that's a permanent GPS marker. So maybe I'll just go search for this thing. Hey, I finally found it. Nice. So it looks like it's about six kilometers away from the respawn pod. Now, did I turn this thing off? No, it's still on. So why is the antenna off? I could have sworn that the antenna was on. Yep, the antenna is on and the broadcast radius is set to 3 kilometers. So, yeah, I should be able to see it now though. I mean, maybe not before, but let's adjust that to 10,000. That seems like a more reasonable value. Enable broadcasting. Oh, okay. I must have turned that off at some point. Alright, let's... I'm going to rename it, though, because I don't want it to be Mayday. Cool. Now it's named Prometheus. Right, let's, um... Fly back to the respawn pod, and then... Come back. Hopefully I don't run out of, um... Run out of power. Um... I really don't know what I would do if I do run out of power. Um... I don't think I can build any batteries. Or maybe I can. Um, hmm, that's a good question. Alright, so what I'll do is I'll just use the ion thrusters and then the single hydrogen thruster because uh, it looks like... Is that enough to lift it? No, it's not. Alright, we're going to have to use the atmospherics. That really cuts into my power. Alright, so, let's see if we can actually get to the Prometheus. Where is it? It's over here. Yeah, it's very sluggish. I honestly don't think we're going to make it. So, but I will try to get as close as possible. I think I'm going to have to build another battery on this thing to get it back onto the ship. I think I'm just going to have no chance getting this back. Well, we're getting pretty close, so I might just put my reversing thrusters back on because I did turn them off. Um, and it says we have one minute. So I'm hoping that is somewhat accurate. I just need to get onto that connector. like a couple of seconds oh come on stop 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 wow go backwards please Man, that was just way too close. <laughs> I can't believe I got away with that again. Alright. Uh, note to future self. Um, plan. Plan, plan. Next time, before I go out, I need to check how much battery I actually have. Whew. That was... Um, yeah, that got the heart racing a little bit. Alright, so... How much platinum do we have? We've got 40 ingots so far being, being refined. Um, I would like to check on my power though, just to be... Yeah, just to make sure we have enough left. Yeah, well, it looks like 2 days, 14 days. I would actually like to put these batteries here on recharge for a little bit though, just to get a little bit of power into them so that I can straighten up the ship and move around a bit. Okay, well, I think I've got enough... Uh, 
yeah, kind of charging this thing now to put it back onto its proper moorings. Now, I was actually wondering if this mod uh, just didn't spawn platinum underground, but no, it does, and it looks like Mars is the only planet where you can get platinum. You can't get it on, like, Alien or whatever. Um, and it can be up to a thousand meters underground, so maybe that's my problem, is this thing is just flying too high above the ground but I'm kind of in a predicament so I can't get any cobalt here so I wanted to build a ship like just a small grid miner um, because I've, I've got a few blueprints for some and I just wanted to build one of those so that I can like drill down dead vertically and yeah these ion thrusters here just aren't working out very well so I would like to replace those with, um, yeah, atmospherics because obviously, well, I'm never going to take this thing out into space, I don't think. Maybe I will. Now I guess we can always just replace them again. So, um, yeah, really not sure what to do. Um, do I go hunting for more platinum or do I take what I have, go back to base or do I, yeah, um... Yeah, what do I do? Anyway, let's get this thing back on its mooring. And there is one thing I would like to do to this ship as well. And I have been meaning to do for a while. So let's disconnect it. And I'm just going to let it sit in midair for a moment. And I'm going to change its color to this. Alright, there we go. Control, shift. Make the whole thing that color. Much better. <laughs> Actually, it looks strange now doesn't look like the same ship anymore. Oh well. I still think it looks a little bit better. Or maybe a little bit too much camo. Oh well. Alright, let's park her up. Alright, so we're locked down. Now, I'm probably just going to end the episode here, guys, because, yeah, I just really don't know what to do yet. Um, yeah, I really don't know if I should stay, go. Um... I need to kind of do a little bit of research on how far Platinum will get me and I don't want to make the same mistake I did on the moon where I kind of left a little bit prematurely and I should have mined a lot more gold than what I did. So anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed the episode and I hope to see you in the next one. So peace out.